here, Coach Anna here, and welcome back to Field Events. You may have just finished strength with Coach Ricky by throwing or pushing a shot put. Today we're going to continue on with those strength events and throw a discus. Real quick, before you head out, you're going to need your discus. If you don't have a discus, you can make one on your own. You can use a frisbee, that's what I have today. You could use some paper plates taped together. If you want to get creative, you can find your own way to make one. Okay. For the discus throw, you're going to stand facing away from your target with your feet shoulder width apart. You want your back to be straight up and down with good posture, and you want your arms at your side. You're going to be holding the discus with your dominant hand and then raising your non-dominant arm as a guide. Hold the discus with four fingers wrapped at the bottom and your thumb is on the outside. It's almost like you're palming the discus. You're going to rotate your back so your dominant hand reaches behind you and then rotate back quickly, reaching your dominant or your discus holding hand up and across your body to meet your non-dominant hand. I like to think of the motion that your hand should follow as a seat belt when you take it off. So it goes up and across your body. Right, the next step in this process is to turn over your non-dominant shoulder and attempt to turn 180 degrees using a pivot. Reminder, a pivot is when you keep one foot planted but step with the other. And then you should end with your hand on the discus at the same place in the air where it was before, except your nose and toes should now be facing the opposite direction from where you started. Uh, now we're going to complete that 180 degree turn and then we're going to follow it up with a 360 degree turn. So at the end of your 360 degree turn, you're going to release that discus in front of your body. Um, and the release of the discus is not a throw, but instead you almost flatten your hand and just let go of it. And I like to pause at the end for the follow through by freezing and pointing where I want it to go. So when I did this, I didn't have a noise making device, but if I had, I would have tried to like point at the sound I heard. Here's a video of the finished product. I'm standing shoulder width apart, facing away from my target. I reach behind me, rotate forward, meet my hand in the air, turn the 180 degrees, turn another 360, and then I release with my arm up over my head in front of my face. the discus throw. Please make sure you record how many steps it takes to get to the discus once you throw it because I really really want to hear how well you've all done. Can't wait to hear from you!